Hey guys, EDC Gunner here, and I just want to show you um, the end result of my dyed G Shock. Uh, it was a jelly blue G Shock a DW6900, and I basically what I did, I took uh, some dye, textile dye, and I removed the bezel and I cooked it, and it came out beautiful black G-Shock and we'll draw a picture of how it was before and I really didn't like it some guys may not like it but it's not, not my cup of tea so this is a end result and you can find out lots of tutorials about uh, dyeing G-Shocks and uh, basically uh, you cannot dye black G-Shock into some other color but you the best G-Shocks to dye are the jelly ones and I picked up a jelly specifically for that purpose and I used the uh, textile dial and you have a great tutorials and those tutorials the best recommended uh, type of dye is a RIT brand, RIT dye and you can find it in uh, US, UK but if you live outside of those areas of the world it's a bit hard to get it and you, you cannot snap it up in a supermarket so I used one um, which I found it was a Croatian dye but it was a I was afraid it won't turn out that good but I'm happy with it I'm satisfied and it's a nice G black G-Shock this is a DW6900 uh, and it's a basic G-Shock uh, with some nothing special sensors uh, like uh, altimeter barometer it's just a stopwatch alarm chrono split time seconds uh, and that's it and so I like that way because prefer it I had uh, one uh, LT barrel G-Shocks and after a while I had some problems with the um, barometer and just don't didn't like it I prefer this for banging around it's a cool G-Shock and you can if you can snatch them uh, cheaply you maybe you can die it and there are lots of great tutorials and I just want to show you my end result and and probably many of you guys didn't know it, that even it can be done so uh, that would be it uh, thank you for watching and have a nice rest of the day. Please